Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept. Short run supply curve of a form with the help of a diagram. Here we are going to discuss short run supply curve of a form with the help of a diagram. You can see here the diagram. On x axis output is measured and on y axis price and cost are measured. How we are going to derive the supply curve of a form in the short run can be split into two division. So here we, how we are going to derive the short run supply curve of a form is split into two parts. What is first one means price is greater than or equal to AVC minimum of AVC. I repeat here once again price must be greater than or equal to minimum of minimum of AVC. That is one part part A. So I told derivation of supply curve is divided into two division. So our two parts the first part is price is greater than are equal to minimum of AVC. Suppose in the diagram you can see here suppose the market price is P1. Suppose market price is P1. In that situation we have to consider all the three conditions of profit maximizing condition of a firm. What are the three conditions? The first one price must be equal to MC and MC must be non-decreasing at Q0. That means price must um, MC must be increasing and the third thing is price must be greater than or equal to minimum of AVC. So these three conditions are satisfied you have to see. You can see at price if market price is P1. In that situation, you can see here, you can see this price line. First thing, price is equal to MC. Here at this point, you can see, dear student, at this point, you can see, observe at Q1 quantity, price is equal to MC. Price is equal to MC at this point. And next thing, what is the second one? MC must be increasing. MC must be increasing. Dear students, you can observe here the curve, MC curve is increasing, moving upward. It is moving upward. So that is the second thing. And price must be greater or equal to AVC. In the diagram, you can observe. In the diagram, dear students, you can observe here this is the AVC and this is the price line. Here price is greater than AVC. So at market price P1, all three conditions of profit maximizing are fulfilled. You can see in the diagram. Okay, dear students. Now let us discuss the same thing in a proper manner or in detail. Okay, the derivation of the derivation of supply curve of a firm in the short run is split into two parts. The first point, price is greater than or equal to minimum of AVC. Now let us assume, suppose market price is P1. Then, which exceeds that means p1 exceeds the minimum of avc so p1 is here and avc is here p1 is greater than avc next one you can see and p is equal to mc at this point dear students at this point you can observe at this point MC is equal to price or price is equal to MC. Next one, MC is non-decreasing. At this point, you can see dear students, at this point, MC is increasing. You can see here dear students, MC is 
increasing. So here all the conditions. So at Q1 quantity, at Q1 quantity, you can see here at Q1 quantity, all three conditions are satisfied. Hence, market price is P1. Hence, market price is P1. And output is Q1. So, Q1 quantity is a profit maximizing condition because here you can see all the three conditions for profit maximizing is fulfilled at the point here. At Q1 level of output, all three conditions are satisfied. Now, let us discuss. Now, let us discuss by chance. If price is less than minimum of AVC, that means observe this one, dear students. P2 is less than minimum of AVC. Then a firm is going to produce. Let us discuss. Suppose market price is P2. Suppose market price is P2, which is less than the minimum of AVC. If a profit maximizing firm produces positive output in the short run, then this price, this P2 must be greater than or equal to AVC. But here this P2 is less than minimum of AVC. Okay, so because of this diagram, you can observe in the diagram, P2 is less than minimum of AVC. So, foam is not going to produce anything and foam is going to produce zero output. You can see, dear students, here, so foam produces zero output at P2 level of for market price as at P2 price is less than the minimum of AVC. Dear students, in the diagram you can observe on x-axis output is measured and y-axis price and cost are measured. This horizontal line represents the price line, price line and this is SMC curve and this is a short run average cost, short run average variable cost average variable cost and we know that if firm is able to recover average cost in the short run it is good if it is not able to recover average cost at least it should be able to recover average variable cost even if it is not able to recover average fixed cost in the short run this is the necessary condition. If firm need to continue its business in the short run, it must recover average variable cost. Even if it is not able to recover average fixed cost. You keep this in your mind, dear students. So because of this reason, in the short run, we say that supply curve of a firm which is based on marginal cost curve and average variable cost it is represented by the bold line you can see here this is the bold line mc curve mc is shown with a bold line you can see the dark line of smc curve and you can observe dear students the price is equal to minimum of avc so here you can see price is equal to minimum minimum of a v c at this point at this point you can see dear students a v c is equal to minimum of sorry price is equal to minimum of a v c that you should keep it in your mind next here you can see the rising part of SMC curve, you can see the rising part of SMC curve from and above the minimum of AVC. Where is minimum of AVC? This point we call it as minimum. Minimum of what? Minimum of AVC. So, from here, 
okay from here and the rising part of smc curve rising part of smc curve we call it as the supply curve of a foam so this from the point from the minimum of avc and the above the rising part of smc curve we call it as supply curve of a foam supply curve of a foam okay dear students by chance if price is less than this price less than below this less than the price p then foam supply will be equal to zero the foam is not going to produce anything it is going to shut down the foam it is going to shut down the foam so what i want to say here dear students the rising part of smc curve the rising part of smc curve you can observe this rising part of smc curve we call it as supply curve of a foam and the supply curve depends on marginal cost and average variable cost curve so the supply curve will starts from minimum of avc minimum of avc and the rising part from here the rising part if price increases supply also increases below this point below this price below this price line you can see here below this price this price below this any price the foam supply will be zero below this price the foam supply will be zero you can see any price in this area the supply of foam will be equal to zero dear students you can see notes on supply curve of a foam in short term derivation of supply curve of a foam in the short term and make use of this notes and get good marks dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much